and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today we're going to be going over the best players at each position. Now, why is this video important? Because, see the best over most overpowered players, is just top 10 players, it could be 10 quarterbacks, could be a mixture of a few positions, but it's more primarily always aimed at a set amount of players. The best players at each position, I go through each position in Madden, and I tell you guys the best players, which kind of helps you out if you're building a team right now, and you want to know who I, oh, like your you know, cornerback and center, huh? I'm going to go through everything, so... It's gonna cover just about everything that you're gonna need to know. Let's go over to the auction block. Gonna go position through position. Kind of give you a little bit of my thinking. Now I can't keep it too long per position. I'll, I'll go. I'll kind of speed it up on linemen and a few things that I don't think are as important in terms of talking about, and then keep it a little bit longer on things that I do think so. So it'll even out all at the end, guys. But if you're new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on new bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to keep showing support. I greatly appreciate you guys. Even in this dead period, this dead period of Madden in general, keep up the support, guys. I really do. But Beyond even that, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you need any help. And turn on that only bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And guys, if you guys are sleeping, you guys are hibernating, and you guys are double Madden, don't worry. As long as you come back next year, you come back in September, I'm all good with it. Auction block, let's go check these guys out one by one. So we're going to start off with a quarterback position, arguably the most important position. Although in Madden, it can be sometimes like you can get away without it. So, for a quarterback, we got to be going with Patrick Mahomes. And there's simple reasons why. Here are the top three, in my opinion. We got Mahomes, Lamar, and Vic. Now, why not the other three? Simple. Lamar's unobtainable. It'd be stupid to even talk about him. Until he gets a Redux card, he's unobtainable. And even when he does get a Redux card, I still question his throw power. Second, Vic. Vic could be right in Mahomes' territory as soon as he gets an Ultimate Legend, but the moment he does not have one, so that'd be stupid of me to talk about him. So I'm going to go with Patrick Mahomes, guys. Patrick Mahomes has changed my offense, I'm not going to lie. This whole year, I've been with Lamar, and what I, I haven't been able to throw deep. I haven't been able to throw um, to heaters to anyone. No no tight windows. It's been very conservative, very open look. And now that we got into a later year in Madden, I just kinda, I've kind of struggled a little bit because cornerbacks and defensive backs are too good now, so I can't play like that anymore. So I ended up getting Mahomes' nat. First few games, I'm like, ah, I can't deal with the speed. Then I started sitting in the pocket more and passing. I was dropping like three, 400, 500 yard bombs every game. No joke, Patrick Mahomes has changed my offense. I play a lot better because of it. I really love this Mahomes, guys. He can do everything on the field. His speed's a little lackluster, which is why I think the next Michael Vick might be even just as good. Because the next Michael Vick will have the same throw power, better throw deep, way better speed, and similar throwing stats, like at least like threshold-wise. The next one could be really, really good. Coming in number one at running back, guys. Now, what am I waiting for? For running back, uh, not much at this point. Like, I'm super content with having my favorite running back in the league being one of my guys. Saquon Barkley is going to be the best running back for me, I think, guys. I think he takes the cake. Just stat wise, now it's kind of funny that Eric Dickerson's finally like they're kind of the closest um, overall. I mean, overall in price. Shaco Barker takes the cake. End game card gets 99 speed, 99 excel, 90 agi 99 agility, 99 carrying, and 99 break tackle. End game for me. I really like the Saquon. Now, the only way I'd end up replacing him is what I've won it all year. If we get a Ladanian Tomlinson, that'd be super exciting. And that's pretty much it. I mean, one more. I mean, they'll probably be another overpowered running back. But for the time being, I'm more than content with my Saquon Barkley. That is going to be the guy that I vouch for. Why I'd uh. At back now, skip over fullback real quick. Wide receiver, in my opinion, guys, it's simple. You gotta have Calvin. I feel like this is how I like to build my receivers. This might be my opinion. I like having the one tall, glitchy guy that could do it all. He's my main number one. That would be Calvin Johnson. Cheap, cheap price at 317. Highly recommend you pick him up. Then you need your two. What do you look for in a two? Now it depends. For me, a two is someone who's a mix. Now, guys, personally, if I were you, I recommend using Tory Holt as a two. He's a great route runner, he's free. He's economic. Now, if you really don't want to put, you really don't like Tory Holt, you hate using free cards. It's kind of dumb in my opinion. But if that is the case, I'm not gonna lie. Andre Reid isn't a bad too. I think he's slightly overrated. But if you use him properly, like like I told you guys, he's like a slightly taller one. He's like a slightly taller Tory Holt that can't route around as good, but he'll get the job done. He's a pretty decent too. But I'd recommend you use Tory Holt. Not three. Using Tyreek Hill. This is my, my mine. Mine right now in this current day and age. I like Calvin, Tory Holt, Tyreek Hill. Perfect. That is my three. That's what I like to do. It's up to you guys. That's just my personal opinion. I'll come over to fullback. Fullback right now, guys. I still don't even recommend these two guys. Honestly, in my personal opinion, what I'd recommend is get Christian Okoye and then power up and wait for an ultimate legend. Franco Harris, I don't like him. He's not fast enough. His catching's decent, and he's not the best blocker. He's like the jack of all trades, but for a fullback, you don't need that. You need, you know, blocker with speed. 
Kyle, Kyle is probably the second one. Okay, right now. If you don't want to wait for a Koya, get Kyle. But if you don't mind waiting for a Koya, get a Koya. Pretty much the best way I can sum that up. Tight end right now. In my opinion, there's a few good tight ends right now. I personally am waiting for Tony Gonzalez and Ultimate Legend. But if you don't want to wait for him, he's one of the options. But if you don't want to wait for him, I like George Kittle. I really do. Good speed and that run blocking is really important for me. Now, if you want it, so here's your two archetypes. I have I'm waiting for Tony Gonzalez as my receiving one. But if you don't want Tony Gonzalez and you want a receiving one or a block, if you're going blocking and you want a blocking like jack of all trade guy, go George Kittle. If you want a pure receiving, you gotta go Kellen Winslow right now. Kellen Winslow is a better version of kind of Tony Gonzalez right now, a better speed, powered up and chemmed up. So I'd, if you're not gonna wait for Tony, get Kellen. If you want to block and tight end, get George Kittle. Those are the only things I can really recommend at this point. Now, left tackle. Guys, get Walter Jones. Super cheap. Call it a year. Get Walter Jones and call it a year. I promise you guys, you won't regret it. None of these other guys stack up to Walter Jones the way he does. Walter Jones is insane. Now, Joe Staley isn't too far behind, but I still wouldn't recommend him over Walter Jones. The run blocking is a decent, a fair amount better, but he gets blown away in pass blocking, and that's also very, that's very important at the left tackle spot, especially at this point in Madden with the pass rushing abilities and stuff. Left guard. Personally, left guard, I'm kind of just holding out right now because <clears throat> my coin stack. But if I had to choose one, Brian Waters is pretty solid. Now I always I wanted Quentin Nelson. Quentin Nelson gives me a few little his little few little iffies. Pass box a little low, and so is his run block. Quite honestly, when Brian Waters across the board has mid tier, mid to high tier everything with great strength, he's kind of like he can do everything on the board, and he can power him up, which you can do with the other ones too. I'm just making a point. I probably go with Brian Waters there. If you want overall, you can go with Nelson. Now center, I really like Alex Mack. Pass blocking is good enough at center, and the run blocking is just phenomenal. You're gonna get crazy holes up the middle. It's my personal opinion there. Right guard, Zach Martin. Big fan of Zach Martin. Pick him up, set it and forget it. That's why I have it right guard. And then right tackle, Dan Deardorff is another guy that's just end game. Power him up, kept him up, 99 overall, call it a year. I'm no joke. You, that's all you need, the ultimate legend lineman, and then just, that's it, you're done for the year. Now left end. Left end is tricky because a lot of, a lot of people have preference here. So from what I've heard is that Julius Peppers is better than Ed Tuttle Jones because of his speed. So pretty much if you want pure run stuffing at, at end, with good pass rushing, but pure run stuff, and go at Tutal Jones. If you want a pure pass rusher that can really get to the quarterback, go 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 Julius Peppers. That speed and excel with that 99 finesse move powered up, six foot seven, gonna be super glitchy. And then a defensive tackle or right end, actually, Brad. Guys, it's a no-brainer. Aaron Donald, 330k. Guys, I promise you, power up and come up. You get 99 power move, 99 block shot, close to 99 play rec. Gonna have great speed, great athleticism. Set it, set it and forget it. Done for the year. Now coming on over to defensive tackle. Defensive tackle, again, another tricky position. Comes down to what you like. Avita Vey is super cheap, but he's ass. I want to let you guys know. I don't think because he's an LTD that you should get him. He can, he can kind of block shed. He can't really power move. Like, he's not that great overall, in my opinion. I think right now Warren Sapp is the move overall out of everyone. Now, he's a little expensive right now. He went up in price, but Warren Sapp gets powered up in Kemdiv, gets 99 block shed, close to 99 power move, and has great athleticism. No brainer. You can send him and forget it for the year two, or wait for a mean Joe Green. Let that sound linebacker, guys. I've been waiting for a good left outside linebacker all year, but the consensus right now is get TJ Watt. TJ Watt is a pass rusher, great speed, great height, great athleticism, great finesse move, great block shed, great play run. TJ Watt's a great option right now. I'm sure there's actual a left outside linebacker I actually want. Middle linebacker, gonna have to go with Ray Lewis and Patrick. Ray Lewis and Patrick Willis, two top middle linebackers right here, outside of any of the free ones. Now, in terms of who would I recommend you power up? If you get to pick one right now, I'd probably say Patrick Willis. And why is that? Patrick Willis compared to Ray Lewis. Same speed, same excel. Similar hit power. Difference is, when Patrick Willis gets his upgrade, which should be pretty soon, right now he's cheaper. And when he gets his upgrade, he'll be way better than this Ray Lewis. Think about it. 91 speed, 91 excel, 94 hit power, 90 block shed. And then we got 91 speed, 91 excel, 93 block shed, 97 hit power. This new Patrick uh, Willis probably like a 93 speed. Or 94 speed as well as like a 97 hit power so powered up and chemed up he's gonna be he's probably gonna you can get him to like a 95 96 speed probably powered up when ray lewis case you only get him to like a 93 which i think is kind of a little low to be honest with you in terms of a middle linebacker end game already but you can have both if you need to if you run two middle linebackers get both of them can't go wrong there right us on linebacker guys no brainer go with lawrence taylor you got to go with lawrence taylor now if you guys don't know i preach lawrence taylor every every year this is madden strategy Go to Reddit to linebacker, buy Lawrence Taylor, power him up, you're done for the year. Great speed, great excel, great power move, great finesse move, and he hasn't gotten an upgrade since when? Since, uh, when, when was this? Back in, like, I don't even know when the NFL 100 was, like, November? He's got an upgrade since, like, December, November, trust me, it's been a while. It's been a while. He's gonna be getting good upgrades soon, and trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss out on the next upgrade, because it's going to be kinda glitchy. 
now moving on over to i believe we're going over to cornerback if that is where i think the next spot is yep cornerback now for cornerback guys i have three guys here these are going to be my my in-game lineup in my opinion coming in at number one is going to be actually i gotta put him at number one coming in number one is gonna be night train lane he's a little expensive right now but night train lane is gonna do he's your he's your do-it-all cornerback kind of like my wide receivers he's your do-it-all cornerback Powered him comes up, he's gonna get close to 97 speed, 98 speed. Gonna have he's gonna have almost maxed out speed almost. Gonna have almost maxed out agility, almost maxed out jumping. He will have maxed out zone and almost maxed out press. Now, what is the beauty of you might say like which is not as fast as Dion? That's slightly true. But he has better height, better everything else, and and the press. The 94 press combined with his hip power and block should you know the cornerback has in the game. He's rare. Like no other cornerback can literally get off blocks and destroy a run or hip power and Force fumbles, especially on wide receivers. Trust me, guys. Night train lane is super glitchy. You gotta have at least you gotta have you gotta have him on your team. And then second, I want to have Deion Sanders every year. I want a night train lane, a Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders is self-explanatory. Everything's 99 besides his press. And then for the number uh, three spot, really comes down to you. So right now I'm rocking with Ward. Ward's great because he has 99 speed, 99 speed, 99 press, 99 man. Great there, but if you really want end game, end game, power up Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey powered up and come gonna be not as good as Ward. It's close to war, but not as good as Ward. And then when he gets his uh, his ultimate legend, gonna be probably he's gonna be him, Dion, and then Night Trailer. They're gonna be end game. Although Ward won't be that bad either, so you can still stick a Ward. Now free safety, guys. I have two recommendations. Now you can go with Brian Dawkins here. I personally use Sean Taylor. I'll let you guys see the comparison here. I like Sean Taylor more because I have him powered up ready and because he's taller. But Sean Taylor is faster technically. But okay, well obviously if you power them both up, they'll have the same speed. No less excel than uh than Sean Taylor. Similar tackle, less play rec, less pursuit, same man, less zone, um, same for power. But when Sean Taylor gets his next card, he's going to blow this Brian Dawkins out of the water considering how close they are right now. So if it's up to me, I, I have Sean Taylor. I'm going to wait for him to get an upgrade. If he does not ever get an upgrade, feel free to power him down and get Brian Dawkins. But right now, with how close they're looking, you know that the next Sean Taylor card is going to blow Dawkins out of the water. And then strong safety, Troy Palomalo. Best defensive player I think I've ever played with, or at least best safety I've ever played with. Guys, powered up and chemed up, gonna get to 99 zone. Come close to like a 95 hit power. Come close to like a 97, 98 speed. 99 excel. 99 play rec. 97 pursuit. Guys, this card's looking super solid. I promise Troy Palomalo is super glitchy. Can't go wrong with him. I've loved every bit of having him on my team. Don't plan to power him down anytime soon. And now, as far as kicker, because you guys always seem to ask for kicker, I just go with the highest kick power. Highest kick power. I like Zane Gonzalez personally. Zane Gonzalez, 97 kick power. You can't go wrong with that. You pretty much get every field goal in the, in the game, like from any spot that you need to kick it from. Pretty much within the 50. With a wind, you can get it. With the longer ones, but I think pretty much anywhere from a 55 in, he could definitely hit easily. So, pre it's pretty helpful in terms of, you know, your field position of where you can actually score from. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I don't know which video we got on first, but whichever one you see, show some support on. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you did enjoy, comment down below. If you need any help with anything, make sure to subscribe and hit that notify bell, boys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.